Hey guys, this is Henry from Ovidi again. Today we're going to be learning how to automate insert parameters in Studio One. So on previous tutorials, we've explained how to automate the volume of the track and also how to automate the pan position of the track. Now, what if I want to automate or what if we want to automate a parameter from any insert on any track? Well, we'll learn that today. So, um, Right now we have a we have an audio track, and um, I have if we go to our console view, our mix tab, we have a Pro EQ equalizer on it, and it basically has a low uh, a high pass filter. Sorry, a, a high pass filter set to 1.4 kilohertz. Let's listen to it. Oops, sorry. I have to activate it. <laughs> there it is. So um, if we press play and we listen to the track filtered, it'll sound like this. So you get the idea. It's pretty much a, a high pass filter and that's pretty much it. That's everything that the Pro EQ is actually doing. So let's say that you want this to be engaged on a certain part of the track only. So you have to automate that. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I've used a low cut filter or high pass filter on purpose. Uh, so that the difference when you turn it on and off, it's very obvious. Okay, so let's say you want to automate that. You want to automate it so that, let's say, the track will start and in bar two, the, the equalizer turns on so you hear the effect of the high pass filter and then when you get to bar number three or measure number three it goes back to the way it used to be which is the eq off so that you, you hear to the whole frequency content of the track so you basically turn off the filter okay so how do you do that well if you have your equalizer doing that and that's the only thing that the equalizer is doing you could basically automate the the bypass button, okay, which is this button right here. You want to automate that. How do you do it? Well, we're going to learn that now. So, um, as we explained before on the top left corner on your actual timeline window, there's this button that says show automation. And then you have a, uh, an arrow right here where if you click it, you're going to see the drop down list and you have your volume envelope, your, your pan position envelope, and then you have add remove. That's where you're going to add the envelope for that bypass button that I explained before, which is, and I'm going to go back to it, these bypass button, okay? So we're going to create an envelope for that button so that we can automate it. So one more time, um, if you click on the drop down list, you go to add remove, and you're going to see here's your automation window. So on our track called loop one, that's the name of the track, right now we only have volume and pan. Um, engage or available for automation. However, on the right, there's a list on the right side of the window that says inserts. If you open on it, the insert that you have is a Pro EQ, right? And then you have for you have folders of parameters that you can automate from that EQ. But the last one, the very last parameter, is the bypass. It's a bypass button. So if you click on it to select it, and then you click on Add. Now you've created a third envelope just for the bypass button. If we close this, now we're going to see the um, envelope, which is a yellow line. And then if we want to um, program it, we, we, it, the process is pretty much the same we did with volume and pan. We just click where we want the, the bypass to happen. When do we want it to get bypassed? And when we want it to not be bypassed. So basically, right now, um, if we click on it, it is on bypassed. So right now, the filter is active. Well, we said we wanted the first measure to have basically no filter, then the second measure to have the filter, and then the third no filter. So basically, we want an automation point here, another one here, three. And then we want to raise this. Sorry. So you click and drag it. You can create another one 
So right now, actually, we need to do it the other way around, which is like this. There it is. So we created the automation points on bars on the first beat of bar two and the first beat of bar three so that the pro EQ will be bypassed on the first measure. Then the second measure, measure it won't be bypassed, which means it'll be active and you're going to listen to the effect of the filter. And then on measure three, it'll get bypassed again. This is going to happen automatically because we are on read mode as soon as we press play. So let's go ahead and do that now, see what happens. Oops, sorry, we need to go back. Let's go from the start, and here we go. Awesome, so it works, right? So as you could listen, on the first bar, we have the whole frequency spectrum happening, then the second measure, we could hear the music being filtered and then starting on the third measure, it went back to the way it was at the start where we could hear the whole frequency response because the pro EQ that, w that had a filter was bypassed. Now, if we want to see that actually happening, we can do this. I can open the actual um, insert window, return to zero and press play. You're going to see the bypass going on and off. Here we go. And there it is. That's how we automate a an insert parameter in Studio One. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, we only used the the bypass button of the Pro EQ, but you could technically automate any parameter of any insert in Studio One. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much and bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.